So here we have the dual boot, uh, what do you call it, smart MP4 from here at Ramos. So you can actually choose Android, double click, or just one click, and it's booting into Android. And this is 2.1, and it boots it from the from the SD card. What is the CPU inside? Uh, Novatech. Novatech. Novatech HD 800B. Wow. So it's gonna actually boot Android on this. How much is this device? Uh, in China, 299 RMB. Really? Yeah. That's uh, like fifty dollars. Less. Less than fifty US dollars. Less than fifty. For 4.3 inch Android. But yeah, no Wi-Fi. Yes, without Wi-Fi. Actually, for OEM orders based on 1,000 pieces, uh, uh, you know, the cost could be less than 40 US dollars. 40 US dollars. Yes. And uh, so this is actually Android. So it's an ARM 9 maybe, or it's not very fast. Huh? How how fast is the CPU? Uh, about 400. 400 megahertz. Yeah, yeah. And here you have an Android. And let's go down here and see what goes on. Eclair. Yes, and the users can still install many APK files and play the games. So this is T T eight Pro, you call it. T eight Pro. T eight Pro, and it's a four point three inch resistive. Yes. Forty US for bulk order, big order, and there you can install all the APK you want through here. Can you install Google Marketplace? Usually it can support more than 10 apps. Good. So only 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. It's nice. So how much more would it cost to add Wi-Fi? You cannot do that? Uh, at present, it cannot support Wi-Fi, you know, because this the Android 2.1 and uh, due to the hardware limitation. But to add Wi-Fi would cost how much? Ten dollar uh, more? Five dollar more? More than ten dollars. More than ten dollars. Yes. All right. Uh, so it's actually booting the Android from the F SD card, or did you update the firmware? Uh, you need this micro SD to be in for Android to boot. <laughs> yes. Uh, the, for this device, it needs the TF card, but already we have finished the firmware with the Android building. All right. Very nice. Okay. Thanks.